The start of 2016, four years ago, I literally was a ghost on social media. I have over 100 units of rental properties and I get joint venture partners from social media. I and mean, I have raised over a million dollars from Instagram. I definitely wouldn't be where I am today without uh, the help of social media. Like all of these platforms and being able to engage and being active on all of them have contributed to my success today. Social media is one of the most powerful tools right now in my opinion. It's a revolution, the likes of which maybe we've never seen before. Over the last few years, there's no question that social media has completely changed the world. It has allowed people to connect, engage, and promote themselves easier and faster than ever before. Social media isn't all butterflies and rainbows. It also has a direct connection between issues related to mental health, self-confidence, and even personal security. Is social media good or is it evil? The answer is up to you. What is up YouTube, Matt McKeever here and in today's video, well this is going to be a little bit of a swerve for you guys but we're going to be talking about social media and really the value behind social media and why, why I spend so much time and energy currently building out all the content that we currently do and there is a lot of content if you actually sit down and think about it. In fact at this point in time we're doing almost two videos a day, uh, an ebook a month, there's lots of other random content, interviews, couple podcasts on the go cash flow drive, there's so many different things going on when we think about content in my world that we thought it'd be great to have Janelle from my team come on from social mediation and break down for you guys exactly what it looks like behind the curtains and why we spend so much time and energy on social media. I hope you guys enjoy this video. What's going on YouTube? I'm Janelle Perrin and in today's video I'm here to talk to you guys about social media. More specifically the advantages that you can have if you use social media correctly. Social media is a tool and it can be used to your betterment or your detriment depending on how you use it. So, why do you need to have a good social media presence anyway? Hey everyone, my name is Austin Ye. I'm a real estate investor who is 26 years old and retired from the corporate rat race. My first experience using social media on Instagram was in September 2018. I was just documenting my day-to-day -day life, showing people the hustle and grind it takes to get into real estate. By then I had no properties, but I was showing people the audiobooks I was listening to, the books I was reading, the YouTube videos, the networking events I was going to, like all of that hustle and grind to get that first property. January 2019 was my first ever Instagram post of the numbers or partial numbers of my first investment property. At the start of 2016, four years ago, I literally was a ghost on social media. I did not have an active Facebook profile. I probably didn't even know what Instagram was. Um, I hadn't used Twitter in like seven years probably. And uh, yeah, LinkedIn, TikTok, all those things were completely foreign to me. And at the start of 2016, I decided, hmm, maybe I want to try out this YouTube thing. Well, fast forward to September 2016 and I actually jumped into the YouTube game. And I had no idea how it was going to impact me and the sort of reach and legacy I could create through social media. Social media has been a huge part of my realtor career and investing career and I really only figured it out maybe five years ago. I just saw that no real estate agents in my area, pretty much in my province, were not on social media. Right now, a lot of them are. But back then, nobody was doing that. They were all mailing letters to your house. I had never really used social media to my advantage, and this was only about three years ago, okay? Since then, I've started working with Matt. I've started actually building out some of our businesses that we're now partners on. And I've been able to go from what was a broke-ass salesperson into building out a seven-figure business. And it's all been done through social media. It became clear to me that social media was going to be one of the most powerful tools in my toolbox as soon as I consumed Matt's content and saw how quickly it could build a true fan. After I really realized that, I started posting more on social media. I started getting my face in front of the camera and I was posting everything, just raw footage. Okay, A lot of the time it would be me failing. It'd be me actually just going through the process of trying to learn how to become a better real estate investor and try to become a wholesaler, which is the business that I do here in London. Everybody thinks you're going to make one post and then you're going to make money. But people just like to see the effort and it does take a long time. Just think about any brands that you buy. You might see the brand 50 times before you make a purchase. And that's kind of what social media is. And now fast forward, I have over 100 units of rental properties and I get joint venture partners from social media. That's all I ever do is 
promote it and then people reach out to me and they DM me. And now I have over a hundred units and I get private lend money from Instagram and I have raised over a million dollars from Instagram. I definitely wouldn't be where I am today without uh, the help of social media. And that goes for LinkedIn where I publish articles and create credibility and the white collar corporate space. That goes for Instagram where I'm able to document my day to day journey. That goes for Facebook where I've connected with people that I haven't spoken to in a long time time, like high school people, elementary school friends, um, high school teachers, uh, professors that I have on Facebook, right? Like all of these platforms and being able to engage and being active on all of them have contributed to my success today. And I definitely am going to double down on social media and in fact have doubled down on social media going forward. Social media is one of the most powerful tools right now, in my opinion. It's a revolution, the likes of which maybe we've never seen before, but certainly the only other ones that stand out to me is like, the printing press, tele and radio communications, the internet, and then social media. These are the four big media revolutions that just changed the game as we know it. And right now, I'm in a giant land grab to try and get my hands on as much of the social media attention world as possible. I think my only regret and my biggest shortfall is I'm not doing enough of it. I think that's the biggest problem that I face right now. Um, and I'm challenged by that right now, even as I'm trying to hire a lot of people. The only reason I haven't been able to hire more than these six is because I've been too lazy to post on social media more to get more of these people. And the thing is, I already know where they came from. These six producers that have made $1.4 million for the company this year all came from social media. Pretty incredible. And to be honest, if there was only one thing I could tell you guys, the one thing I would tell you is start today. Okay, yesterday was the best time to start. In fact, when you first even thought about your business idea, that was the best time to start. But the next best time is right now. If you start posting and start publishing your story today, I guarantee you, you will have results from social media so long as you stay consistent. As a real estate investor, you're very much aware of how important it is to network, especially for new investors, right? Networking can be beneficial for recruiting new members to your power team or finding money partners or even just for educational purposes. 2020 and 2021 haven't been too kind to those looking to network in person, but smart investors don't just throw in the towel. They've been pivoting their networking strategies to be able to do so virtually. And although nothing beats the face-to-face -face interactions you get at an in-person event, there's definitely advantages to networking online. First of all, you don't have to wear pants. So for all of you skinny jean wearers, you're saving time and energy right there. But you also have the world literally at your fingertips. You can network with people from a different province or a different country who might not have had the opportunity to meet you if it was an in-person event. So just make sure that your social media has purpose behind it. And it's not just something that you use to waste time sitting on the shitter. Next, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about a bad habit that most social media users have, and that's being a lurker. Think about this for a second. Every like, every comment, or every share is getting your profile picture and your username seen by someone else. I'm gonna to touch on that in a second, but to better explain this topic, let's take a look at Matt followers to use as an example. Let's take person A and person B and compare them. So person A has been following Matt since day one, but never really engages. Person B, on the other hand, started following Matt a couple months ago, but has been liking and commenting on all of Matt's content. When person A and person B both want to send a DM to Matt, who do you think Matt is going to recognize? He's going to recognize person B because their username and their picture has been blowing up Matt's notifications for the last few months. Another reason why you should try and kick that lurking habit is to teach the algorithm what you want to see more of. If you interact with the content that you want to see, you're going to see more of it. If you don't want to ever miss a Matt McKeever post on Instagram, like and comment on every piece of content that you see on your homepage and the algorithm will start to show more of it to you. And the last situation I'm going to try to use to convince you to break that awful lurker habit isn't practiced too often, but it still happens often enough that you'll want to change your habits if you're still a lurker. Some content creators will regularly go through their list of followers and remove inactive followers from their list. The reason that they do this is because the Instagram algorithm likes to take into consideration the amount of followers that you have versus the amount of engagement that you get. So if you have a low number of followers, but a higher percentage of those followers are engaging with your content, you'll be in the algorithm's favor. So with that being said, if you enjoy someone's content, but you're just lurking, you run the risk of getting booted from their followers list. 
Again, not practice often, but still something you need to be aware of. So I guess to wrap up my point, ask yourself one question. Have you hit the like button? Have you commented? Have you subscribed? Okay, so before moving on to my next point, I wanted to go back to the part where I said every like, every comment, every share you do is exposing your profile picture and your username to someone, right? So if that's the case, what is your picture of? Is it a clear photo of your face or your company logo? Or is it just a sunset on a beach or your dog? What's your username? Does it have your actual name in it? Or is it user 23597? Your picture and your username is your social media business card. Every time you leave a like or a comment on a post, that's you handing out your business card. All right, my next point as to why it's important to have good social media presence is the ability to sell. Sell your business, sell your services, or even just sell you. The old bus bench and billboard days are over. It's easy to sell whatever it is that you're selling online if you follow these steps. Step number one, have a plan. How many times will you post? What social media platform are you going to use? What branding style are you going for? Who's your target audience? How are you creating content? It's easy to get started, but always remember a failure to plan is a plan for failure. Take some time to flesh out what you want your social media to look like and sound like and feel like. Step number two, build a community. Start posting frequently and engaging with every single comment that pops up on your posts. Then venture into the explore page and start commenting on other posts and replying to comments on other people's posts as well. This is a great way to grow your audience. Make sure every comment is genuine and add your input. Step number three, provide value. Remember, it's not all about selling. You need to also be providing value to your audience and then attention will follow. If you're an investor looking to network with other JV partners, just start talking about your journey, where you came from, what your strategy is, and what you're currently working on. Now you can even share your wins and your losses because that also makes for great content. Investors want to invest with other investors, so prove that you're an investor. The final step, call to action. This is where you do the selling, so make it easy for your followers. Create catchy content that is going to grab their attention and make them stop scrolling. Use a stackable link feature like Linktree to add multiple links to your bio and make it really easy for your followers to find what they're looking for. And finally, the last reason why I'm telling you that you need to have a good presence on social media is because it allows you to control the narrative. Think about it. If you had a bad interaction with someone or if you caught someone on the wrong day, happens, you're only one bad review away from a disaster. If you have nothing else that comes up when someone Googles your name, then you're letting other people control your narrative. Having an active social media presence with a frequent posting schedule is the best way for you to avoid that disaster. So, like I said, social media is what you make of it. Don't use it to waste time watching cat videos. Instead, take this opportunity to really build a reputable brand for yourself. If you want to learn more from Matt's media team, check out our social media course. The link is in the description below and use the promo code McKeeverFever10 for 10% off. Thanks again to Janelle for taking the time to shoot this video. If you guys got value from this video, smash the like button, hit subscribe. Let me know in the comment section, you know, what is the area of social media you're currently focusing on or what's an area of social media you're currently struggling with? Love to hear your thoughts, your opinions, and your experiences in the comment section. If you're interested in learning more about social mediation, we've got our course put together. It's just kind of a one-time thing. Feel free to grab it in the uh, description down below. Thanks, guys.